What up YouTube, Tanner2SS back again with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be checking out my sneaker collection. Now, it's not as big as it once was. I've moved a couple times in the last few years, so got rid of shoes with every move. So you're not gonna find anything from like 06, you know what I mean? So this is uh, the current state of it, and it's gonna continue to grow, continue to get better, because I, I love shoes. So uh, before we jump into the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're gonna start with my latest pickup. These are super cool, super important to the city of Detroit. These are the Jordan 2, uh, 218. Uh, 218, if you're not familiar, there's a sneaker boutique in Detroit. I believe like a sister store to, to burn rubber, which you probably heard of. These are the Jordan 2, 218. Worn them once. I wear all my sneakers. I, I never just keep them in the box and not wear them. They're all like art pieces to me. So these have a pretty cool story. On the bottom is meant to represent the Flint water crisis. So you see how you like the dirty water color here and then it goes to clear at the bottom so yeah these are super cool uh, cool thing about these if you look at the paper you have the map of uh, the Metro Detroit area and then you kind of have the same thing here let's take out the tissue I don't know if it's gonna pick it up but you have the map of Detroit and the insole as well so pretty cool I like I like the color on here these are very very Detroit, very Detroit color. You throw on a pair of buffs, <laughs> it kind of just fits uh, with the Detroit vibe. Yeah, cool story, cool color. The materials are really good. Nice, cool little pair, right? It's just, I noticed these didn't really sell out everywhere. They kind of sat even on the Nike website where, where I actually ordered these. They were sitting and they had all sizes available um, a few hours, actually the next day. Uh, after they were initially released so these still might be available so yeah if you uh if you're on the the hunt for them check them out let's wrap these back let's put the tissue back in here before i forget always like to keep the shape and let's move on to the next one all right my next pair is a pair of 1985 Jordan 1, uh, Pine Green. I've had these for a couple years. It's a really nice colorway, right? You can't go wrong with a pair of, of Jordan 1s. Again, got some dirt here. Again, I wear my shoes, so those bottoms are, are dirty. I actually want to take my entire collection over to 313 Sneakers, a sneaker cleaning shop. I believe it's in Oakland Mall, so I want to you know, just take all my kicks over there and get them clean. But uh, yeah, so Jordan 1, Pine Green. Really nice colorway, really fits. I used to match up my, my kicks a lot to my hats. I have a bunch of hats over here, but I had a, uh, somewhere, if I can find it. I got a Boston Celtics hat that really matches up nice with this colorway but for some reason oh here we go the boston really plays well with that color but uh yeah uh, let's move on to the next one all right next one in the collection nike air max 90 i forget which pair this is so let's open these up ah these are the bacons Air Max 90 Bacon. Cool, cool colorway. These are the uh, re-release. I actually did a video on these particular shoes. You should check them out in my playlist, uh, Tay on Sneakers playlist. And I actually kind of run down the history of this shoe and how important it was when it was originally released. But uh, this is the re-release. There wasn't too much fanfare for these as well. They kind of sat, I think I got these for below retail actually, which I was super happy about because uh, I like this colorway a lot. Again, I wear my shoes. Yeah, I like this colorway a lot. It was really clean. They were impossible to get the first time around. So when I saw that these were re-released, I went ahead and jumped on them. Yeah, I mean, 
it, very neutral. Like you could wear a lot of neutral colors and it matches up well with these. So MX90 bacon. All right, here we have the Air Jordan 1. I think they were calling these the yellow toe. I can't keep up with the nicknames anymore. <laughs> they, I just get, there's too many Jordan 1s that are released, too many different colorways, too many different nicknames, and I don't know. Some nicknames are fan-made and some are actually from the brand, so, but yeah, I can't, I can't keep up. Nice little colorway, you know, Air Jordan 1, classic silhouette. You can't, really can't go wrong. Yeah, these I had to buy resale. I think I bought them for like 280 or something like that. So it wasn't a ridiculous price that I paid over retail. But again, clean, matches up nicely. I think I have, what, I was wearing the Pirates hat with these. So those match up real nice. Yeah, I like them. Clean colorway. Uh, you can't go wrong. It's a cool shoe. All right, now we have a pair of A6. I got a couple pair of A6. It's really clean colorway. I haven't actually haven't worn these yet, but I like the silhouette. These are the uh, Gel Three Lights OG. Um, I picked these up. If I can hold the shoe. Well, I picked these up when I was in Niagara Falls at the A6 outlet. Got a pretty good deal on these. They're only like uh, seventy or eighty bucks. Um, they were discounted, so I was like, yeah, let me let me go ahead and pick it up. Got that gum gum bottom. It's a nice colorway, clean. Just like this is more of a everyday casual shoe that I can just, you know, throw on and just go anywhere. Not too, not too worried about beating them up or anything or getting them too too dirty. So Gel Light 3. I, I really like this colorway. Alright, now we have one of my favorite shoes of all time. We have the Air Jordan 13 Flint. And I actually love this colorway. Like this is one of the best colorways ever for me. It's just a clean shoe. It's really, really nice. These have been re-released a bunch of times. <laughs> and every time I always missed out on them and I never picked them up. So the latest, the latest time it was released, I was like, I have to, I have to pick these up. Like I can't just continue <laughs> missing out on this shoe. A lot of compliments on these too, whenever I wear them. Uh, and of course I have worn them. They're, they are dirty, so. Like I said, I wear my shoes. They're not just art pieces to hang on the wall. I actually get some some usage out of them. Um, Flint 13. All right, up next, we have a pair of my favorite shoes of all time. It's the Foam Posit 1 Royal, or the Pennies, as they're more affectionately known. Absolutely love this shoe. I have loved it since the 90s. Um, it was like the coolest thing ever because it was so different from all the like any other shoe when it came out it was just you know so different with the like molding it's just so different now foam posits look <laughs> they absolutely look great but they are not the most comfortable shoe like they are 100 percent not the most comfortable shoe I've always wanted the galaxy pair that came out what was that 2013 but now if you take a look at them they haven't really aged well right they, they don't really hold up anymore with that that galaxy pattern on the side. It lo looks kind of cheesy now, but these are timeless. These will always be in, like, no matter what. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily wearing phone posits right now, but when you wear these, these will still get attention. So, um, phone posit one penny. Love them. All right, moving on to probably one of the least favorite pairs of shoes that I own currently. These are the Air Jordan 12. I believe they're called them the royalty and in pictures right they look amazing with the the gold accent right you have that og colorway right the black and black and white but they just added the the uh, gold accents which aren't og right and they, they look nice in pictures but i don't know in hand i guess it's because of the material right i don't know if you can if the camera really picks it up but the material is just it's just plastic right and I don't know what I was expecting, like, you know, and then, yeah, maybe I thought there was gonna be like more of a metal eyelids, but no, they're not. And they're not very comfortable. Like this pair, the quality, this kind of feels like basketball rubber. Um, just doesn't feel like the, it just feels like cheap. It feels very cheap in my opinion. The leather isn't soft. It's probably, like I said, probably the least favorite, my least, one of my least favorite pair of shoes that I own currently. Okay, from going from one of my least favorite pair of shoes ever to one of my favorite pair of shoes ever, 
these are the, the Griffies, Ken Griffies. Love these. Love the look of them, I should say. But actually on foot, these feel very bulky, right? They feel very like a like a '90s shoe. <laughs> and I mean, you get it. You can tell it's a big shoe, right? Because it's the sheer size of it. But you really feel like you're wearing a big shoe. But to actually look at it, the shoe is amazing. Like I love love this colorway. Um, I've worn it. I've worn them often. As you can see, they're very dirty. Uh, I do need to get these clean. One of the things I don't like about them is this midsole. It seems to like this is my second pair that I've that I've had. Um, the previous pair I had the, the midsole like paint just was off, like came off so easily. Like it, I don't know if I necessarily have. Let's see if the camera picks up that. Doesn't want to pick that up, but discoloration. I think these are going to have to be repainted when uh, when I do get them cleaned. Uh, and that's really only the negative. It's just the the midsole. And the bulkiness of them, but uh, this is an amazing shoe. All right, next we have a pair of LeBrons. Let's open up the box. These are the LeBron Nine Big Bang. These are the second pair of Big Bangs that I've owned. These are really cool. Bottom is glow in the dark. Of course, mine is dirty. And the insole has the like the galaxy pattern. I believe these were worn during the 2000, I'm getting my years mixed up now, but I think it was the 2013 All-Star Game is when these originally released. Um, I bought them back then and I ended up reselling them almost immediately because the resale market was crazy. I think that was like the beginning of the resale market getting like out of control where you just could not get a pair of shoes whatsoever. And then when you were trying to get the pair of, sh the pair of shoes that you wanted, Resale was going for hundreds of dollars over as, as opposed to when it was going for, you know, maybe 50 to 75 bucks over. And we started getting into the 200, 300, 400 buck uh, range over or more. If you're looking at the Galaxy phone posits, which went for a crazy amount uh, resale price. But these are these are definitely shoes that were involved in that that crazy boom. These are very loud, very they get a lot of attention, but it's a cool shoe. It's comfortable. Yeah, LeBron 9, they have a lot of classic silhouettes. Like I said, it was probably my favorite model, LeBron. All right, continuing on, we have a pair of Jordan 11s. These are the Jubilees. And my bottoms are absolutely filthy on these. Definitely have to get these clean. These are, I think they're starting to yellow, but... uh yeah, this is a, a cool silhouette. Um, I've owned a bunch of uh, Jordan 11s as well. I had the Concords, I had the Breads. I've, I have uh, actually have a low top pair that you're going to see shortly. Um, but yeah, this is a cool little, cool little silhouette. Jordan 11s used to be my favorite model or silhouette of all time, but I don't know. Over the years, I guess it's because they've released so many colorways and it's kind of lost its true like value to me yeah i'm really not not the biggest fan anymore i also don't like when you wear them for a while and they start squeaking because <laughs> that's kind of annoying i don't like yellowing of the bottom as some people like it some people like the yellowing it shows you know age of the shoe and it's been worn and all that jazz but i like a clear bottom like just that's just me i like a, a ice bottom I, li I like this shoe it's cool it's uh you can wear it with anything like I said, the Jordan 11 just aren't, they aren't as important as they once were to me. Next, we have another pair of Air Jordan 1s. These are the patent leather breads. I'll just be honest, I paid a lot of money for, for this shoe and I've probably only worn them one time. Again, these are classic silhouette. I like the patent leather. The colorway is, you know, classic. You can't go wrong with a pair of uh, black and red anything right black any black and red Jordan is just gonna it's gonna hit different these are right along in that vein but yeah I've only worn these once I don't know I, these are kind of sitting in a box I don't get as much wear out of them as I thought I would and I paid a lot of money for them I think I paid like I don't think it was like 450 500 for these uh, resale because I actually couldn't get these um, retail they just sold out way too fast but yeah, you guys know the, the story with the Jordan 1. Um, this is a really nice colorway. Can't go wrong.
All right, these are my other pair of ASICs, and these are crazy. These are called the Dragon Fruit. Just a very loud colorway. I actually first saw these on a picture on Reddit, and they look so amazing on foot that I uh, went ahead and, and made the purchase. But yeah, these are crazy, as you can see. Got a lot of crazy colors in there. A nice little summer shoe. Like I said, I really like that Gel 3 silhouette. It really looks nice, clean. I haven't worn these yet. I probably won't wear them until the summer comes around. We have better weather. But uh, yeah, celebrating 30 years, Gel Light 3. It's a cool little silhouette, cool little colorway. All right, here we have a pair of my Air Trainer 1s. These are cool. These were everywhere in the 90s. You saw a lot of people wearing them from Andre Agassi to, I think Bo Jackson wore these as well. Um, these were cool. Again, a nice little, nice little silhouette. It's classic, comfortable. I have wide feet, so I kind of have to leave the strap undone. It's too tight with the, uh, the strap. Strapped across, but yeah, another shoe you can't go wrong with. I like these. As you can see, I wear mine. Still, I gotta get them clean. I hate dirty bottoms, but uh, yeah, Air Trainer 1s. All right, my next pair of shoes are my Jordan 6. Now, I just realized that I have my Jordan 13s in the Jordan 6 box, and my Jordan 6 is in the 13 box. So, if you're wondering, that's what's going on there. But these are the Jordan 6. Again, one of my favorite shoes of all time. Infrared. Got the infrared there, which really pops on that black uh, new buck upper. Got your lace lock. Classic hill tab. Nike Air on the back. Original. Of course, I got my scuffs there because, again, I wear my shoes. The air bubble. Bottom. Yeah, these are comfortable too. I love these. Go with anything. Yeah, one of my favorite shoes of all time. Moving on to another pair of Jordan 11s. You have the Jordan 11 Low. These are really clean colorway. Really nice to wear in the summer. Go with anything. Of course, you have the translucent bottom again. Mine's dirty. Classic Jordan 11. The scuffs there. Jeez. Classic Jordan 11, cool shoe, I don't mind it. To be honest, I forgot I even had these. These are the Air Jordan 11, cool gray. Again, can't go wrong with these. These are classics, worn them, dirty. What more can I say about the, the Air Jordan 11? This is a classic colorway, so. Yep, forgot I had them though. All right, guys, I only have a couple more pairs to show you. Uh, these are, oh, I should say these have a very interesting story. These are the LeBron 9. Let's see if we can get the box open with one hand. Oh, no, I was wrong. These are the LeBron 8s. <laughs> LeBron 8 South Beach, which also have a pretty crazy story. Um, these are the re-release. I believe these were re released in... 2020 and these are crazy Looks like accepting some bird poop or something, but yeah crazy colorway. These are very popular back in the day These were going for a lot over retail on the resale market. I actually had a second pair I... These are actually going for a lot on the resale market. I actually had a pair of these I can't remember what the year was but I actually bought them off of eBay and <laughs> I feel bad about this, but I bought them off of eBay and I was sent a fake pair. So when, <laughs> so, uh, I actually relisted them and relisted that pair for like $300 and somebody bought them and I still feel bad to this day, uh, for doing that. But it was just one of those things where it was like, man, like I just spent all this money on this pair of shoes and they're fake. And I was like, I need my money back. So yeah, when these were released, I made sure that I actually went and got um, another pair of these because these are these are awesome very loud colorway a lot of attention but they're, they're classics all right guys this is the last pair I'm gonna show today these are 
what I thought the last pair were, which are the LeBron 9 Watch the Throne. I actually made a video about these as well. You can check the playlist and check that video out. Maybe I'll leave a link in the description, but these were actually never released to the public. These were specially made for um, Jay-Z and Kanye West on the Watch the uh, Throne tour. Um, so when they actually re-released these, was it last year or was it earlier this year? Again, I can't remember, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it has a crazy, crazy uh, lace lock on it, which is, it's like hard plastic, right? Very, you would think it would be metal, but very hard pl uh, plastic. Um, yeah, cool, cool, cool shoe. I think I've only worn them once. Um, got the floral pattern on the inside. Wearing them with the lace lock is kind of a little bit much. I actually prefer to just wear it without it next time I wear them. It grabs a little less attention, but I think the lace lock draws too much attention to the shoe. But yeah, these kind of sat when they were released officially. Didn't have much trouble buying these at all. Like I thought they were gonna sell out fast just be because like the story behind the shoe and you know people couldn't get them and you know there was only friends and family who actually got them you know the first time around so uh yeah definitely expected these to sell out but they they kind of sat so people don't appreciate the lebron nine uh like they once did back in 2013 or so 20 2012 whenever they released but yeah this is uh these are cool shoes cool story um and you can probably still find them uh, for retail if you if you're if you look hard enough but yeah man so that's my collection hopefully you guys en enjoyed them let me know what your favorite pair were in the comments and if there's any pair that you think i should pick up don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace